My daughter is missing. One morning I woke, and she was nowhere to be found. It was useless to go to the police for help in our town, where there are already a lot of missing people. I started my own investigation. I managed to find my daughter's diary, hidden among the walls of our house. In the journal, she wrote about the cave she couldn't stop thinking about, and on the last page, there were coordinates. I go looking for her, with the only hope that she is still alive. Right, this is a heck of a loading screen. Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something called In These Caves. And in these caves, presumably, there be monsters. Right, there's also, um... No tutorial, or control setup, or anything like that, so, um, I'm just gonna have to guess the whole way through. What's that? Piece of paper? Is that another journal page, perhaps? Can I, um, can I just shoot it? That's not entirely what I was planning on doing. There we go. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved caves. My father took no, my father of ten took me on excursions. Oh, my father often. Goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Even showing me new unexplored places, he taught me to stay calm in extreme situations. But I never worried. I liked everything that happened to me. I loved the way the, the cold, sometimes slimy or even spider-covered walls squeezed my body. What the hell is wrong with you? When I could hardly move my limbs anymore, I began to move through the narrow tunnels like a worm, and at such moments my heart began beating faster. I felt really happy. I felt at home. You eldritch abomination. So when I first heard about these caves, I immediately went to explore them, and was not mistaken. There were more narrow openings and more tunnels than I've ever seen in any cave. I could not wait to climb into the next hole. What is wrong with you? Okay, so... Can I follow? No, I can't. That is a good thing. How the hell did I crouch control? Okay. Right, never mind. Me and my one-handed sawn-off shotgun are going to go on a little trip and see if we can figure out where my vagabond offspring has gone. Presumably to get off on her squeezing fetish, it would seem. Okay, so now I have a big axe that I can use for walloping things. Can I break this? Yes, I can. I was about to say, why does it have a big X on it if it's not for breaking? But yes, indeed, it does seem to be. I've also realised this isn't a body. This is just a stone sort of plinth with a um, little skull on it. Right, okie dokie. So this is interesting. It's got a little bit more... Um, bit more sort of dynamicness to it, I suppose, than I was expecting. Very much liking it. So I presume we're going to see some enemies at some point. Some sort of little minions that are going to attempt to stand in my way of uh, finding their cruel mistress of darkness. Why for the footsteps... What is that? Why for the footsteps is a clock ticking noise being used? I don't know if you can pick that up, it's extremely quiet. But the footsteps is a clock ticking instead of shoes, which is a digging bit bizarre. And digging and digging. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you dream? Some Do I what? say that all people dream. It's just that those who don't dream don't really remember the dreams they had. I never forget my dreams. <coughs> it's this cave. I've been in it long before I came here. In my dreams, I visited it. I don't know why exactly I came here. I, it seems that I've lost something very, very important. And it's definitely somewhere among these stones. At least that's what happened in the dream. I was digging and digging and and then uh, didn't you come here looking for something too? <coughs> you shouldn't stay long then. I'm gonna lie down and sleep. Maybe I'll finally dream about something other than this damn cave. <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> Keep your sneezes, wheezes, and diseases to yourself, my friend. Okay. Right. I think somebody has gone a little bit crackers. Michael and I came here because we had the same dream about these caves. We knew right away that it was a sign of destiny and we had to come here. But when we arrived we met other people and they too had had a dream about the caves. It couldn't have just been a coincidence that so many people were having the same dream. What does it mean? You're still there. Yes, you are. What's this? Some bullets? Well, it was a uh, sort of packet of, um, packet of um, chocolate matchmakers for a moment then. But it seems it was nothing as exciting as that. What do we have here? Oh, a little... Um, Little health kit. Okay, I shall have that. Yes, they will increase my health a bit. Kind of begs the question why I went to um, seek out my daughter whilst, in, uh, whilst having horrible injuries, but never mind. Michael looks at me strangely, kind of angrily. What have I done to him? We've been here for a week or two and I can't remember the last time I ate. My arms are tired from digging. My thoughts are jumbled and it's hard to concentrate on one thing. I think Michael is up to something. Maybe he wants to take my spot. No, no, he wouldn't do that. After all, we've been best friends since we were kids. We were... I'm going to stay up. Damn, Michael. Okay, so it seems everybody was going a little tiny bit crazy. Oh, goodness. Um, this is slightly unexpected. Right, that's that situation dealt with. Were you Michael, or were you somebody else entirely? Remind me a lot of the, um... Of the rioters from Batman Arkham Knight of all the places and all the things. Right, okay. That was a little bit tense, and now I've got to be arrested for murder by the time I get out of here. But hopefully I'll have at least found my daughter. Now, is that an arm or a leg? <laughs> I have many, many questions. Can I, um... Use these to break through? Maybe? Is this working? I'm going to assume the answer to that question is no, and I am not big and strong enough in order to stick around and carry on trying. Okay. I keep thinking there's literally a clock ticking when it's not. It's just meant to be the footsteps. Okay, so we seem to have found our way to some sort of big central cavern. Which implies we're possibly at some sort of centre of the map, and now we can explore off in various different directions in order to... Um, well, hopefully track down my little miscreant of a child. I'm just a genius. Genius. Nobody had a clue but me. I figured out the right way. It's not a cliff. It is a passageway. It is a bridge. You can walk across it. You just have to be a little brave. You mustn't forget to be careful, otherwise you fall and you won't have any wishes. Okay. Are you telling me I have to take, like, a leap of faith? Uh Okay, if you insist, this is going to go very badly, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Oh no, maybe it's not? Um... Okay, somebody's, somebody's very displeased with their situation. Um... <laughs> can I sprint? Yes, I can. Good, because I think I need... You could not escape death. No, no, evidently not. Um, yeah, I think I need to like sprint and, and, and like run up to this as I go. Okay, right, where have you put me back to exactly? I'm back to like the beginning of the, um, the big cave, aren't I? Because I haven't got my health kit or my second load of ammunition. No, I've ended up somewhere completely different. Hi, friend. Oh. I love the detail on that face. That's very nice indeed. Okay. So it seems I've ended up somewhere completely different to where I was before. I saw something moving over there. Is that another enemy? Yes, yes. And I can hear a vague sort of breathing noise as well. Oh, goodness sake. Right. Could you just stand still for a minute? Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm a little confused of why you didn't die when the bullet hit you, and only, when you, when you, uh, only that you died shortly afterwards. But never mind. Oh, Dig hi again. Digging. Yes, yes, yes. I know you were doing lots of digging, oh. and frankly, I couldn't give less of a rat's. Just give me the health kit, and I'll get out of here. Okay, right. I suppose I could try going in another direction and not leaping off into the um 
wild dark yonder, but I don't think I've got an awful lot of choice. So I'm going to try and make my way back to that area. In that big chasm. And see if I can have slightly more luck getting across it this time. Because now I know about the sprints and I can use that in order to jump a little further when I need to. Because I need to be very careful about my jumps here. He says, immediately screwing up the entire thing. <laughs> but they're managing to mend it all. Hooray. Okay. Yay! I think we did it. I think we just about managed it. Okay. I feel like there's another baddie around here somewhere. I don't know why, I've just got that sort of sense. Down deep in the insides. Yes, and the way they're stocking me up on some more bullets as well. It makes me very, very suspicious indeed. Earth is that noise? Sounds like some very small person hitting the inside of a barrel that they're trapped inside of. You're right, mate. Have a nice time. Gideon. Oh dear, I shot the worshipper. Oh dear, I'm a very naughty man. Don't you stand still, man. Gideon. Right, there we are. They move very quickly. Okay, friend, I'm so sorry. I murdered you in your pyjamas. That seems extremely uncouth of me. I am so very sorry. Right, here we go. We're coming to no, not another one. I will not survive another one. Okay, right. Let's all just chill for a split second. Oh, there's the barrel I was talking about. Earth is this? Look at the bones. Yeah, it's like big spiders at first. What does this say? Uh, nothing I can understand. Yeah, just a great deal of bones inside it. Okay, right. What are these? Why do they look like little teeth? I need something with which I could get down there. What, like a like a like a, a repelling rope, that sort of thing. I can like attach it to one of the rocks and then sort of slip down. That seems vaguely reasonable. My complete lack of health is a, is a little 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 bit less reasonable, but we'll um just have to try and survive. I don't. I I, I want to stay crouched because I need to stay quiet because I cannot survive another one of them attacking me. I have to find another health kit. There's another worshipper. I've heard of a tree hugger before, but a rock hugger is a new one. That is most certainly one I haven't seen before. How many people have ended up down here? I've seen like at least half a dozen different people. Oh, there's a lot of rock here I could break. This might give me access to something of interest. Let me just stand up so I can really put my back into this. Yes, there we are. A few more bullets. There we go. Plenty of those now. I would have much rather had some health, but never mind. I'll take what I can get. And I'll crouch again, because frankly the footsteps scare me almost as much as the enemies do, simply because they're a bit bizarre. Not to imply the enemies aren't bizarre, with, you know, <laughs> how very limber their knees are in how much they run around, but, um, never mind. I'm getting quite big sort of Lovecraft vibes off of this. It kitty, what the hell just happened? You want to roll that one by me again, sister? Yes, a big Lovecraft vibes off of this. Sort of deep underground caves, mysterious dreams, people worshipping things, everything being a bit sort of weird. A lone, unknown character searching around. Oh, gosh. Yeah, just stay right there, friend. I can't shoot you there, can I? What if I stand up? Ha ha! Ha ha! Who knew that standing up was the way to defeat people? Oh, gosh, and I've lost even more health. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's got to be some health around here somewhere. Are you not... Are you, okay. No, no, no. I am not dying to you. I am not dying today. I have had about enough of this. Right. That's better. There's another one over there, isn't there? Yes, there is. I can see him. If you, if you even try and assault me, I will shove the shotgun so far up your backside that when I shoot it, the lid will just fly out of your mouth. Kitty, kitty, aunt. Sorry, I get very defensive when I'm on the brink of death. Right? <laughs> kitty, aunt. This is, this is, this is difficult. This is a lot more difficult than I was expecting. I'm guessing this is my objective, but I don't know where to go in order to find find a rope. But I suppose this is the only direction I can go. It's going to have to be very sneaky. Very sneaky indeed. Because I could... Oh gosh. I could try and do like a sneak attack on him, but I don't think that's going to work. No. It didn't. Why did I try a tactic that I was so certain was utterly screwed? Oh my goodness sake. How far have you put me back now? This hardly seems sporting. Right, thank you, I need all of this. Now, where the hell am I? Oh, okay. Oh, well, all right, I'm not that far back. Okay. So, it seems like it saves your, like, progression through the cave, at least to some degree. But it doesn't save your health loss, which is a good thing. But it also doesn't save your bullets. The question is whether whether it saves the um, deaths of the enemies. Someone's vomiting. No, it doesn't save the deaths of the enemies. Great. I think the tactic with these kids is to keep moving like sideways. Oh goodness, in like circular motions and maybe sprint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn, run, and sprint all at the same time. Yes. So kind of move backwards, sideways, sprint, shoot, turn, and reload all at the same time. I'm not a friggin' octopus. I can't do that many things at once. Oh dear. Never mind. Right. I need to find a rope. Or something. Something similar. Something that performs some sort of similar function. Okay. I'm going to go off to the right first. And hopefully find that Briggle stone, because hopefully there'll be some more ammunition behind there. Presuming that it hasn't uh, saved the consumption of that. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, right. Let's get the ammunition out of here. And then I'll try and get to the other side of this cave. I just need to trace along the edge of the wall, I think. I think that's going to be the safest way to do it. Because the enemies seem to patrol around a fair bit. So just waltzing through the middle of the cavern isn't going to um, be very successful, I don't think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a matter of proximity with you guys, isn't it? It's just a matter of getting too close to them. That's what they don't like. But yeah, sprinting is definitely the way to go. It makes it much harder to aim, but it does make it almost impossible for them to catch up with you and kill you, so that is at least one benefit. The problem, of course, is that you run out of stamina really, really friggin' quickly. But never mind. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, just what I was talking about with the running out of stamina. Running out of bullets as well. Oh, come on, people, leave me alone. Seems like, oh gosh! Seems like they take three hits. Which is a problem when you've only got two bullets left. It's even more of a problem now that I've got no bullets left because it means I have to melee them. Oh, come on, guys, leave me alone. Just 
give me the freaking rope and I'll leave. No, 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 of course not. Come on, hit him already. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here's the rope. Give it to me. Seems strong enough. What the hell is that? Oh, it's another worshipper. Sorry. It's much smaller than I expected. Sorry. I thought that and that were eyes. And this was some sort of big, weird, bulbous sort of beard underneath it. Most bizarre indeed. Oh, health. Thank you. Thank you so much. And some bullets. Goodness. This really is a, a bountiful place. Right. Let's all just relax for a friggin' second. And, yes, yes. and, and, let's not relax for a friggin' second, because everything's gone a bit bananas. <laughs> okay. okay, so the, I, I haven't killed any worshippers in this, this attempt. Oh, gosh. I'm experiencing technical difficulties that need to be sorted, but I can't fix them right now. I need, I need to deal with this. I need to deal with these weird mole people. Right. Might I be permitted a blasted second? Right. I'm just going to stand here in this, oh, arms, in this fairy ring of death, and hope I'm safe here for a minute. Right, okay, technical difficulties have been sorted. Bum-rushing bum worshipper problems haven't been sorted. You guys do realise I've only got two friggin' bullets left, don't you? Right, if that isn't all of them, I'm kind of screwed. No, of course it's not all of them. Of course it isn't. Of course not. Of course there's a million more of them. You, you put me back here again? Oh, come on! Beasts. Man alive. This game is surprisingly difficult. Also, this isn't where I was before. The hell am I? Don't tell me you've put me further back than you did before. That's just not fair. If you'd frickin' reload the gun already. Oh, I can't fight this many of you bastards. Especially when I don't have any frickin' stamina left. Right, this game is frickin' difficult. Okay. And alive. Let's try this again. It would really help if I could figure out where the hell I am. I do not recognise this particular layout of worshippers. Why must there be so many of you? And why must you all be so very... Speedy. Can't you just slow down a little bit? Take life a bit more gently. Right, if I could stop banging into walls, that would be fantastic. Okay, where the hell am I? Okay, I am back in the same place I was before. I've just bizarrely stumbled into a load of worshippers that I didn't realise were here before. Okay. It seems like what I'm going to have to deal with is every time I die, I go back to the same starting point with the... Why are my fingers so gnarled? Um, it seems like I go back to the exact same starting point with the exact same amount of health and the exact same number of bullets and the exact same situation in front of me. So it's just a matter of getting better at using what I've got. to survive the situation because I'm not going to be able to sort of do any better I can't like save up any bullets earlier in the game in order to get through here uh, any better so what I need what in... mm. I was going to say I could just try to run in there grab the rope and run out again but I don't think my stamina is going to last that long so, what I need is to kill them one at a time. Yeah, there we are. And not to waste any bullets. Okay. If I am very, very careful, and I only shoot when I know I'm going to hit, 
then I may just possibly survive this. If I'm inordinately lucky. That slight delay on the death shot and the moment of death is very irritating. Because every time I question myself and think, have I just encountered a stronger enemy type? I never have, but I always think that I have. I can do this. I've just got to be careful. And this just running directly backwards bit works a hell of a lot better than running around in circles. Until you hit into a wall, then it doesn't work quite so well. Kitty. <laughs> That's got to be all of them. There can't be any more. Unless... I was going to say maybe the game is about stealthing, but surely it can't be. The, the mechanics are too sort of basic for that. There's no getting away from them, there's no escaping them, there's just... When they see you, that's just about it, you're going to die now. I swear, there are so many more of these worshippers than there were before. Does not make any sense? Why does... Why would there be more worshippers when when I die and reset? It makes no sense. Go on, try it. <laughs> Rush at me and meet the power of my shotgun. Maybe these guys are more about stealth. <coughs> the, the, the hell? You want to explain to me what the hell was just killing me? Friend. You want to just explain that to me exactly? I don't care. Right? You hear me? I don't care! I've survived. I've got to the end of it, and I've managed to circumnavigate all those enemies, which meant I've been able to save up lots and lots of lead. Now, if we could ignore all of the gashes in my legs for a few minutes, we could realise that I've gone the wrong way already, and we've barely even frickin' begun on our journey back to the cave I need to be in. through here. This is where I want to go. Yeah, so they're guarding the entryway. It doesn't matter because I've got through it. I've got my rope now. I can scale down the face of the cliff and then I can face whatever the hell is coming next. Frankly, I don't a friggin' thing. Oh! That's what's coming next. <laughs> the end of the game. <laughs> oh, man, alive. That was actually, um... Main menu? I don't remember the game having a main menu. I thought it just started off in this loading screen. Oh! There was a main menu. Why do I have no memory of seeing it? I have no idea. So, did I find my daughter in the end? Or, 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 or did I not? Did I get to the bottom of the cave and then did I become one of the worshippers as well? I don't know. It feels a bit sort of unfinished. It feels like there should be a bit more. Like I should maybe go down to the end and maybe have like a little boss battle with whatever the um, the demon that's causing all of these dreams uh, is, is sort of down there and I should have a little fight with it and then maybe rescue my daughter. Or maybe realise that my daughter has become an acolyte of them all. Or maybe realise I've already killed my daughter. Who knows? There are many bizarre questions. Um left unanswered. But yes, we all love craft vibes of that. Real sort of Dunwich Boars vibes off of that very much so. But um that was fun. That was quite challenging, but um relatively fair and well put together once you made use of like the sprinting and stuff. But um yeah, that was quite fun. I rather enjoyed that. That was in these caves, I think. So thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other and good night.